Is the United States about to lift sanctions on China? China's Ministry of Commerce announced that from now on, anyone wanting to export certain rare earth materials and technologies needs special case-by-case -case approval. They are targeting the absolute top tier, the brain power behind our most advanced gadgets. And it's not just the raw materials this time, they're also restricting the export of the technology and know-how for everything from mining and smelting these minerals to manufacturing magnetic materials with them. We are talking about things like etching machines, testing machines, and especially lithography machines. Without a steady supply of these elements, you can't build or expand the factories that make the world's most advanced chips. They are coming after TSMC, ASML, NVIDIA, Apple and Samsung. China is making a big move to strengthen its leverage just before crucial negotiations with the United States. This isn't just business, it's geopolitics. And here's the kicker. China is the world's undisputed leader in this space. The country accounts for about 70% of global rare earth mining and a staggering 90% of the global processing capacity. When one country has that much control over a resource that the entire world needs, it can turn that resource into a powerful weapon. That's what United States government was doing with restrictions. Chinese companies to access its latest chips and ASML's EUV machines. But this time it's China doing the same thing with its rare earth minerals. While previous controls in April this year targeted raw materials, these new measures go straight to the factories by blacklisting all the core materials used in making the chips themselves. So this is where it gets real for you and me. Which products are actually in the crosshairs? Here are some of the companies and their products that will be negatively impacted. Apple self-developed A18 Pro chip, Nvidia's H100 AI processor, and Samsung's 9th generation V9 memory chips. The production of these chips could be delayed by one to two quarters, that's three to six months. And the company that actually built these chips, they are expecting to bear the brunt of this. Chip manufacturing plants in Japan, South Korea and Taiwan are in tough spot. For instance, the world's biggest chip foundry, TSMC, relies on China for 30% of the consumable materials for its most advanced chips, the ones at 7 nanometer and below. Samsung recently placed a big order for materials from China for its upcoming 300 layer memory chips. For these companies, the path forward might mean having to completely rebuild their supply chain, which is a monumental and expensive task unless the United States government gives Chinese companies an access to latest NVIDIA chips and let ASML sell their EUV machines to China. So here we are. The global tech supply chain already fragile just got hit with a political earthquake. While the big tech companies haven't said anything publicly yet, the markets in China have already reacted with relative stocks taking a dive. This is a massive story that's going to unfold over the next few months, affecting everything from the price of your gadgets to a pace of AI development. But I want to know what you think. Is this a brilliant strategic move by China to protect its interests or a reckless decision that could spark a full-blown tech war? Trump is already talking about imposing new tariffs on China. Let me know your take in the comments section below. And if you like to hear stories like this one, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. It helps the channel a ton. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.